today's poem is my poem, Her Majesty, which is a poem that I wrote uh, today um, in honour of uh, the Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, the Queen of England, who unfortunately uh, died, um, and uh, immediately after I heard of uh, the Queen's passing, um, I was naturally saddened, as many of um, the people of England and Great Britain are, as well as uh, the many members of the, the, the Commonwealth. And um, I just felt an uh, an instant need to, to write something in honour of uh, Queen Elizabeth II, who is the only Queen of England that I've ever known. Um, and she's someone who, um, is and will always be an inspiration to so many people. So, um, yeah, I wanted to write a poem in honor of the Queen, and this is the poem, Her Majesty. I will never forget the 8th of September, 2022. The day that I and the entire nation of Great Britain mourned the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. It had been raining on and off all day. And for some reason, when I heard that members of the royal family were rushing to be by the Queen's side, I had a feeling that we soon may be witnessing the end of her reign. When it was announced that the Queen had died... I must admit that I and my family did indeed cry because we had lived with the Queen all our lives and she had always been like a grandmother to our entire nation whose image we had seen and carried with us wherever we went and whenever we needed to use some physical pounds and pence. Things will never be the same again. Now King Charles III will take his mother's place as the head of state. Now when we sing the national anthem, we will have to say God bless the king instead of God bless the queen. This year the queen celebrated having spent 70 years on the throne. 70 years in which she showed true strength, grace, regality and a sense of duty to her people and the country that she loved. Queen Elizabeth II and I shared the same birthday, the 21st of April, and though we were not at all close in age, I always considered the fact that we were born on the same day and the same month to be something special to me for some reason. It is the end of an era. It is the end of what is being referred to as the Second Elizabethan Age. It is the end of one reign and the beginning of another. But no matter what happens going forwards, nothing will be the same. It is with a deep and profound sense of sadness that I must write about the death of a woman who was inspiring and influential to so many people in so many ways for seven decades. And even though I was never lucky enough to get the chance to meet the Queen personally... I will always remember her as being someone who every year I wanted to watch the Christmas message of, someone who personified the importance of obligation, pride, duty, legacy and family. Which is why I will always think fondly of the Queen, Elizabeth II, Her Majesty.